For this problem, we will be finding the indices of a plane. So we will be looking for a set of numbers which will define the location and orientation of the plane within the cubic unit cell. Now our first step in solving this is to choose the origin. Now the origin is usually right here at 0, 0, 0. Unfortunately, we are not allowed to place the origin at any point on the plane, so we will have to choose an alternate origin. It is best to choose the alternate origin at a corner of the cell, so I will choose right here at 1, 0, 0. Now I will call this new origin O prime, and to go along with it there will be a new x prime axis, a new y prime axis, and a new z prime axis. From now on, all of our calculations will use these new x prime, y prime, and z prime axes. Now the next step will be to find the intercepts with respect to the new origin. Whereas the plane used to cross the x-axis at 0, because we are starting from O prime and using the new x prime axes, we can see that the plane intercepts x prime at negative 1. Now if we go back to our new O prime origin, we can now see that the plane intercepts the y prime axis at positive 1. As you can see, the plane never intercepts the z-axis, so we can say that its intercept is infinity. Now our next step is to take the reciprocals of these intercepts. So we will take 1 over the x-intercept, which will equal negative 1. We will take 1 over our y-intercept, which will equal 1. And we will take 1 over our z-intercept, which will equal 0. Now our next step is to simplify these values to remove any fractions. As you can see, negative 1, 1, and 0 do not have any fractions, so for this step we can keep the numbers the same. Next, we need to replace the negative signs with bars. So we will replace negative 1 with bar 1, and then 1 and 0 will both remain the same because they do not have any negative signs in front of them. Now our next step is to find or to add the round parentheses. These will denote that we are finding uh, the indices of a plane. Remember that these are indices and not coordinates, so we should not put a comma between the numbers. So our final answer will be open parentheses, bar 1, 1, 0, and close parentheses. And there you have it. That is how you find the indices of the plane. I also wanted to point out that if we choose a different origin, it may cause the signs of the numbers and the indices to switch, meaning that our bar 1, 1, 0 answer from the previous part may become 1, bar 1, 0. In order to show how this happens, I will pick the new O prime origin to be right here at 0, 1, 0. Again, I will draw a new x prime, y prime, and z prime axis to go along with this new O prime origin. And we will be doing all of our calculations with respect to this x prime, y prime, and z prime origin. Now starting from the O prime origin, we can see that the plane will intercept the x prime axis at positive 1. And going back to the O prime origin, we can see that the plane will intercept the y prime axis at negative 1. Again, the plane never intercepts z, so we can say that it intercepts it at infinity. Next, we will take the reciprocals of these numbers, so 1 over the x uh, coordinate, which will equal 1, 1 over the y-intercept, which will equal negative 1, and 1 over the z-intercept, which will equal 0. Again, we do not need to simplify these numbers to integers in order to reduce the fractions, because they are already all integer values, so 1, negative 1, 0 will remain as 1, negative 1, 0. Our next step is to replace the negative signs with bars, so 1 will remain as 1, negative 1 will become bar 1, and 0 will remain as 0. Finally, we can add our parentheses, and we will get the answer 1, bar 1, 0, which as you can see, is exactly what we predicted. And because the plane here is exactly the same as the plane in the first part of the problem, this should prove that 1, bar 1, 0 is in fact the same plane as bar 1, 1, 0. If you have any further questions, make sure to check out our YouTube channel Materials Concepts. Thanks for watching.